Well, hello there, Shelly Rocks here. We've got another exciting Super World Box mod to look at today. So this is a mod by uh, Cody. It's called Simple GUI. And you do need to download this little add-on here, which is uh, called Bepinex. You need to extract everything from, from the zip into that, into the World Box XE folder, which I show you here. So I've already got that there. Then you need to run the game once. Then when you run the game, you quit the game, come into this folder, go into your plugins, and there's a, a little DLL here called simple GUI.dll, and you grab that from here. And then when you get that, you get this little pop-up menu here, and it is pretty cool. So I'm going to show you it now. So we're going to run the game and uh, introduce you to this simple GUI. Now, this doesn't really mod your game. No, no, let me rephrase that. It can mod your game to be totally OP, but it also gives you some little tweaks and tricks, which are pretty cool. So, oh, also as well, before you go messing around doing all this, uh, back up your world box folder, and then you can just jump back to vanilla world box if you do it completely wrong. Right. Now we will pause it. As you can see, I've got my world here, and it is on fire. So we'll get rid of that. We will chuck a little bit of uh, rain down to get rid of that. There we go. Do a little bit of terrain modification. Let's join. I don't like that how this first starting continent is. They never, you know, like joined up. It's always loose, loose and separate. So we're just going to join these. Let's, yeah. Do some random little bits. It doesn't really matter. I'm showing you the mod. I'm not showing you my amazing. <laughs> drawing skills so we've got space for different lands there right so normally you play the game and you'll put your little things down so you'll be like right i want some humans over here hello, hello. and then i want some dwarves over here hello, hello, hello. put three doors down because dwarves always do terrible and then you can go yeah i'm gonna put down the totally op orcs that are gonna decimate everything uh, you can have one and then we'll put the elves, who also tend to just breed crazy. So we'll put some little foodie things down for all... Did I put an extra elf down? I think I did. We'll put down the uh, little food things now. So let's turn on the names of the villages. Um, I've actually not... Wait a minute. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. We've got two. Why have I got two there? Let's go into this a second. So, you click on this. Why am I spawning loads of random things? So, you can turn these traits on and off by clicking on these things. So, let me just move these around a little bit. Right. Make sure we've not got any more characters selected. Right, we haven't. Right. So, let's get rid of this. So, you've got the various options here now with this. Now, you can... I don't think you can move that around. You can enable it and disable it like that. And we're going to talk about the different sections. So let me just let them run. Now, you've got time scale. This is cool. This, I think, should be in the, in the actual main game, not just something that's in this. If you click on this, you can alter the speeds. One is normal. These all speed it up in increments. But the best speed on it is 100. Watch this. So if I stick this on 100, look at this. This is so good for just building it up quick. Look. Is that the orcs? Why are the orcs there? I think that's orcs. Oh. <laughs> so much me being worried about the orcs. <laughs> They've just got decimated. All right, let's try again. Let's put a couple of orcs up here. I don't know why they didn't choose to stay around here. Let's put a... Let's put a few berry bushes around there. Maybe it'll... Go on. There we go. Do you want to stay here? No, you don't, do you? We could... I could, like, increase this a little bit, I suppose. There you go. Let's give them all some nice little bit of land here. Get this all greened up. Right, so we've got... It looks like we've got the elves over there. Hmm. Humans look like they actually died out. Yeah. Terrible. So we'll do... 
do some food for you. The orcs and the dwarves look like they've survived. Come on, humans. These mugbloods, why are they not surviving? There we go. <laughs> Finally got them to build. So, yeah, as I was saying, the... Uh, the oh, why, why, I really hate the game when it does that. I've just spawned random people. Yeah, so th this time thing's ace. It's really good. You can just stick it on 100. Look at this. You can watch. You can literally watch the world develop. Look. So already, dwarves are actually in the lead for a change. But we can soon... <laughs> oh, don't you worry. We'll soon be messing that up. So the other things that you can do is... Right, I'll turn time scale off. You've got a thing called Fast Cities. Now, if you click this on, you can do building upgrades, city resources, borders. So... If you stick this all on, they do stuff really quickly. So let's try. Let's uh, who's who's like a newish city. Um, this one's not got any roads, so we'll we'll stick the roads on. Let's see if you get the technology of the roads and start building the roads really quick. Because it doesn't give you that much information what they do, but it seems to be if you stick everything on fast, they just build ridiculously fast. So. I don't think anyone's actually building any roads at the moment. Let's uh, speed it up a little, a little bit. Let's see how we get on with the roads now. No one seems to be building roads. If you if you want them to just do mega fast for everything, you just stick all this on. Look at this. So borders have expanded straight away. Resources. Building upgrades. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the that, that's definitely done the upgrade there. Although my orcs, why are my orcs determined not to not to breed? <laughs> I keep trying to build the orcs up and they're just not surviving. I think they're just going to uh fight. Yeah, idiots. No wonder they're not surviving. Wait a minute. The orcs have actually built here now. There we go. So look at the numbers, how how fast that's going up now though. And that is just with that fast city thing. You can turn that off if you want. Once once people reach a certain level, you can go, yeah, nope, you're not having that. Let's turn all that off. Turn that off. Now, the interesting stuff about this is under the, well, I think, is under the items tab. Now, if we go on this, now, if we inspect a person, so let's have a look. Let's have a look who's not doing too good. Well, the orcs are on 32. Let's have a little look at this uh, this community. So I want to find out who the leader of the Orcs is. So let's go into inspect for this. So the leader is... I think that's it. Wait a minute. Who's the leader? There's two villages. So this is the main village. Who's actually the main person in charge of this, though? Um, I think it's you, isn't it? Yeah, let's change the name to Ugg the Orc. Now, can I actually see where Ugg is? Let's turn the time right down. So, I need to try and find Ugg the Orc. That's going to be awkward. Uh, what does he actually look like? <laughs> He's green! Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a great help, that. Um, where the heck is he? I think I might have to give him a weapon, and then uh, we can see what he, what he looks like. Yeah, that's not going to help me at all, is it? It could be any number of these. Right, what we'll do is we'll give him an item. So, we need to find him first, and then we'll give him an item. Um, wait a minute. You seem to have some pretty good stuff. So, I think you've already got some decent stuff. Normally, you can click on the kingdom and see, see the name. Um... Let me just figure out where this has gone.
Okay, so I've actually read that wrong. The, the, the leader isn't actually who I thought it was. I'm an idiot. That's the leader there. The one with the bow. He's got a uh, wooden bow of health. Uh, he's got a helmet, armor, and all that. So that's not really that amazing. But what I can do is I can click on that. And then I've got my items thing here. Now we've got a tab here. We can switch between junk, normal, rare, epic, and legendary. And you can give... <laughs> you can, not only can you give him weapons, you can give him items. So say I want to give him, I don't know, say, what should I give him? A necromancer staff. Right, so I'm going to give him a necromancer staff. And give him a single item. Now if we come out of that, then come back into that. He should have, so it's 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 probably early look he's got a legendary weapon he's got he's got this legendary thing now now you can give him everything so say i want to give him a whole set here now it'll give him a whole set of adamantium stuff so we'll we'll quit that we'll come back in and look at that you've got adam you've got the full armor and then these are just gonna go <laughs> wrecking and you can do that with the um diplomacy so if i click on this you click the two cities up here so say i say that city there i want them to wage war against the elves so if i do that one and i say enemy and now you should start seeing oh no 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 let's hide that how do i hide this now um I want to hide the traits. The menu, the menus do seem to be a little bit. Um, you do have to sort of click them on and off like that if you do do that. So hopefully now we're going to see the uh, the orcs are going to start waging war on these, and my leader has got this necromancer staff. So let's see how he does against them. Bear in mind there is what is a ninety odd elves there. So we're probably not going to do that well. Yeah, we're not doing too good. Looks like the actual... Uh, looks like everyone's fighting everyone. But if you want everyone to just like not fight everyone, you could just quickly put um, diplomacy on. And then do city... Let's do peace on everyone. Okay. And now they are just going to chill. So you can see these are going to uh, start building up again. So you can just uh, you can just keep messing around like that. So stick this on 100 again. You'll see this start leveling up. Now I think I'm actually uh, fighting everyone else now at the moment. That's just due to the other options though. So that'll be due to... Due to it is world laws so i've probably got kingdoms can deploy wars and treaties so if you turn that off stick it back on 100. wait a minute why are you all fighting still who are you fighting i don't know who's fighting the orcs at the moment wait a minute what kingdom's that um, you shouldn't be fighting me. Should we do the, um, peace? Yeah, I think we should turn the peace on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Alright, let's force them to make friendship. Friends! Leave my nice little orcs alone. Okay, they should all be friends now. Oh, right, so that didn't go quite as planned. My orcs are not decimating everyone like I hoped. Put a little bit more food down. Stick that back on. There you go, they're going to start building up again now. They're not. <laughs> they're just, they're just been wiped out. But anyway, you can, um, so as I said, you can just like, 
alter all this and make them all fight each other. You got all the traits. So that's the items. That's it. Oh yeah, you got traits as well. If you wanted to, you could just uh, choose the trait and assign it to someone. Do it in an area. Do it to a single person. So let's see. Let's uh, pause it while I'm doing this. So if you click on like a player. So this is Gurrimir. Now he's a miner, he's savage, he's tiny, he's weightless. So you could change this. You could say this, I want you to be Ooh, um give you the let's give him the madness trait. Click on it again. And we should see the madness trait's been added. Or do we have to click it and then click it again? Let's see. I want madness. Where's the madness gone? I right, click on that. Add traits last selected. Okay. And we click on that again. It might because I've got it paused. Let me unpause it a second. Okay. And we'll try again. Madness. It's not adding that trait to him. Maybe it's because he's got so many traits already. What well, is this one? He's a minor, weak, and wise. Let's give him skin burns. Um, skin burns. Add traits for last selected. There you go. Finally got skin burns. So as you can see, there's loads and loads of traits. Uh, you could... T I don't <laughs> what would happen if I, t if I added one of these and then just chose lay eggs? Um, I don't know. It appears to be attacking the building. So anyway, that's the traits. Done the diplomacy. Um, what else can I show you? Oh yeah, we've got the. Let me just turn that off. Time, turn the time off. So we have got the world tab on here as well. If I can just move that over a little bit, so you can set a population limit of how many people you want. Building limit. You can just go kill all uh, races. So it's proper. You can just do whatever you want look at this clear all buildings let's watch this say goodbye to your homes my little friends there you go <laughs> all the homes are suddenly gone i could get rid of all the people i could um what else could i get rid of um disable clouds if you don't like the clouds get rid of them i can see them there but maybe they don't spawn for a second um i can kill all beasts I don't know why you'd want to do this, but say you're playing it and you get fed up of it, you can just go, if you want to wipe it. Oh, it's so good. Because normally when I'm playing this, if I want, if I get bored of playing it and I want to I nuke everything, I normally just nuke, nuke everything. You don't need to, though. You can do that. And say if you've been playing around with uh, things like fire and stuff and you've totally, you know, messed everything up. So say you do it like that and then you, you know, you, you speed it up a little bit. So you're going to get all that stuff burnt and then you're like well i want to build it all up again so we've got an option here now which says repopulate trees and rocks so how does that work do we just do it in an area it looks like it's just you keep whacking it look oh, it's so cool it does the uh, elements as well which is cool um we have uh, we've talked about the building limit and stuff like that. you could you could choose it to you know you could have maybe you could have like a building limit of just like say five put it on that no no that's wrong i want five buildings i want the population limit to be 10 then i'm gonna add people so we'll add people over there we'll add orcs over there now in theory this now the population should not increase on these. Let's see if it works. Are these actually going to settle? Come on. Where's my people at? No one seems to want to settle. <laughs> ah, it must be. The, is it through the, the limit? Population limit. Population limit to... 10. Seems to be the building limit is causing me issues. We can do the building limit to 10, which is a little bit higher. Maybe we need to play around with that and figure out what limit to put Whoa. it to. 
<laughs> you can just take that off if you want. So that's the world. Um, let's take that off there. You've got construction. So look at this. I can add whatever the heck I want. I can go... I want to set this map up here. I want to add some orcs over here. So let's add some orcs. Let's add multiple orcs. Right. Now they've got a home. Let's go. Right. I want a five... Five orc house. And let's see. How do we how do we actually drag it? Toggle placing. I think it must be randomly spawning it on the map. Oh no, you can place it here now. I've got toggle placing. Watch this. <laughs> that is so cool. Um I can build anything. Anything you think you can build in the game, you can build in this. I'm just trying to see if there's any. Ooh, look at this. You got beehives. You can add them. Cacti's. What about... Can I drop down... Hmm. I thought maybe I could drop down boatyards. I can't see an option to do that, though. We've got temples, though. Add a temple. Pretty cool. So that's construction. And I think that's pretty much it. So then you can just whack it on full and watch them evolve. Anyway, that is it for now. So this is Super World Box or World Box or Super World Box, however you actually pronounce it. Hopefully you enjoyed watching these little modding videos. If you do want to keep on carrying watching these modding videos, let me know. And if it doesn't make any sense with installing them, let me know and I'll record a little video and just show you me going through the process of installing the mod. Anyway. That is it for now. I'm Shirley Rocks. If you found this video slightly entertaining and fun to watch, then let me know and drop me a sub at the bottom right. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.